Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to help solve missing women shooting at me cases. So let's begin. Um, that's for the second round, okay? We talking about a young woman named Deborah Jackson. She is a victim of Samuel Little, okay? This is how she looks. Okay. She is female. Her age when she went missing was 23. Or she's 23 now. Uh, no, she was 23 when she went missing. She missing from Alabama, Texas. She was discovered the, October the 31st, 1979 from Georgetown, Texas. Identified August the 6th, 2019. It took 36 years, okay, to find out who she was because she was a Jane Doe. Cause of death, strangulation. Deborah Lorie Jackson, September the 20th, 1956, died October the 30th, 1979, also known by the surname Lauren, L-A-R-N-E-D, previously known as Orange Socks, was a young woman that was found nude except for a pair of orange socks, which led to her nickname. Henry Lee Lucas confessed to her mother. However, it is believed that he was unfruitful and his death sentence was commuted to life in prison. She was identified in August 2019 by the DNA Doe Project. Jackson's body was found face down in a covered along Interstate 35 in Georgetown, Texas. She had been sexually assaulted and was strangled. Along with a pair of socks on her body, she also wore an abalone mother, mother of pearl stone on a ring. While, I, while identified, Jackson was believed to have been a princeling or a runaway. So she made sure, so that means she escaped the killer, okay? I don't know. Strong evidence supported this, because when I found her, it was under Samuel Little, and I didn't read that part, okay? Strong evidence supported this, as she had, key, had keys from an Oklahoma motel, long nails, inset bites revealed to be in Portugal scars post-identification, unshaved legs, and a makeshift sanitary pad. She had sapotis will do to having untreated gonorrhea. So she will trafficking. One woman, she probably that also means she probably got it from the killer as well. Cause when they when they sexually assault you, they sexually assault you, even if you die, you still gonna have that disease in your body, okay? One woman called after the case was featured on television and stated she had been a she had seen a person matching Jackson's description hitchhiking in Texas. She gave no other information of the victim in life. Between 1976 and 1981, the Interstate 35 section of Texas experienced 22 murders of female and male hitchhikers and shrinny motorists, leading to authorities to believe that a serial killer was involved. The victim was listed as a victim of the I-35 murders. Other listed victims included Juanita Vaquez and Carol and Carol Deloney. As of 2022, only a small handful of the murders have been solved. Okay, Henry Lee Lucas confessed confessed it to her murder <coughs> and was sentenced to death. Okay, let's see what he look like because yeah, hmm, that's yeah, that's mysterious. Hmm. Okay, Henry Lee Lucas. Something in my eye, y'all. Okay. Yeah, I ain't, I, I yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Okay. This is how you look. Okay. So I'm a, I'm a little boy to him as well now. Okay. Okay. Oh, he was sentenced to death. He was later discovered that police officers from the area had him look at crime scene photos, and he he got excited, okay, and then confessed doing interviews, which they would lose to gain recognition for solving cold cases. 
Lucas confessed to over 3,000 murders, including that of Tammy Alexandria and Carol Cole. Lucas' death sentence was commuted to life in prison in June 1998, but he remained in prison for other murders until he died of heart problems on March 5, 2001. At least two men may have been involved in Jackson's murder, and then they were discovered on the socks she wore. Law enforcement is unsure whether the profiles are strong enough for additional tests. The DNA Doe Project took on the case in 2018, assisting with its resolution in August 2019. Her headstone was changed to reflect the name Deborah Louise Lorning. Okay, here's some other pictures of her. How they found her as a Jane Doe. Some portraits that were drew of her. Where she put in the system, okay. Um, that's the pad they, um, I mean, that's the ring worn, the ring she had on, okay. Oh, yeah, that is okay, yeah, okay, the pad, okay. And then this the headstone, okay, the sketch of the ring. Media, her case appeared on America's Most Wanted. She also appeared in Karen T. Taylor's Forensic Arc and Illusion her case was mentioned in an episode of 2017 reboot of Cold Case Files where an unrelated double murder was profiled, yes. Jackson's case was shown on the second and fourth episodes of The Confession Killer in 2019. Okay, you can also find her on Wikipedia, DNA Doe Project, The Doe Network, Find a Grave, Henry Lee Lucas on Wikipedia, Crime ZZZ, my bad for us, KVU, okay. Okay. If you like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And to the real families of this victim, corporate America, we say shout out. Thank you. Peace.